Three of the most easiest to wear niche style fragrances. Number one, Supremacy Gold by Afnon Fragrance Company. They make different types of fragrances, niche fragrances and clone fragrances. This one's called Supremacy Gold. It has a scent of oud wood mixed with citruses. It's so easy and pleasant to wear. Priced at $28 and has very good performance versus the price. Next one is called Amber Velvet Oud. This is by Rihanna Fragrances. This is a clone of something by the highest end line of Dolce & Gabbana's private line, Velvet Amber Sun. And this has a nice, very light, easy to wear fragrance. It's just so pleasant and refreshing and easy to wear. It's got amber and oud in it. And this one is called Itra Al Oud. It comes in this box like this. This is about $30 as well. This has saffron and it has orange in it jasmine saffron orange kind of like other popular fragrance notes but very easy to wear and very complex but it's like it's like a very step level one into a complex niche fragrance and it does last a nice long time and it smells very elegant and luxurious Itra al Oud. all three of those fragrances are available at this website right here for a special price locked in few and they are some of the hardest to find fragrances in america Beginner's Buying Guide to Cheap Niche Fragrances starts with Bond Number no. 9, New Bond Street. It came out in 2018, which was a great year for fragrances. If you remember, 1 Million Lucky came out and 212 Party Fever came out, the one with the cannabis note. I always called it weed fever anyway. This also Aqua de Gio Absolute came out in 2018, so it was a good year. This fragrance costs $405 on their website, but I'm going to show you and tell you where you can buy it for right around $100. What is a niche fragrance? It is a fragrance that you find in, not in your massive department stores, not at your Target's or your TJ Maxx. Most, sometimes you might find them, but mostly they're boutique type fragrances and all the companies do, like this one, bond number nine, all they do is make fragrances, hence the word niche fragrances. That's what it is, it's dialed in. And this list that I'm about to show you is like an introductory to niche fragrances, meaning they're not too strong or too to the right or too to the left. They're just right in the middle and you can safely blind buy them and wear them. Now this one here has got chocolate. It's got a cacao and a coffee note, which is like a chocolate coffee. So it's kind of sweet. It does last 10 hours and it does get lots of compliments, but when you first smell it, you're gonna get blasted with that sweet kind of cacao coffee. It has some lilies of the valley in it, some nice floral, and it's got a nice sandalwood vanilla finish. Performance and sillage and scent trail is outstanding with this fragrance and the projection as well. And I found it on Amazon for $102. The link's down below. In a moment, a fragrance that's the hidden gem of the day by Mancera. Beast mode performance, blind by safe. But first, if you're new here, my name's Christian O. If you just came here from the other beginner fragrance videos, hello and welcome back. I have a question for you. If you had $100, what would you recommend to your friend to buy? If you had $100, what one fragrance would you recommend to buy for him? Put the comment down below. Let's start a nice list. The hidden gem of the day came out in 2012 called Mancera Roses Greedy. When you first spray this on, it smells like really fresh cut roses to my nose. And I smell that from the very first time. However, you might need to acquire a taste for this, but it is blind by worthy. It has pink pepper, which is a slightly spicy berry. It's got black curant, which is like your you know, blackberry, and it's got vanilla in it, and benzoin, and sugary notes, and things like that, and lots of citruses in it. So you think about fresh cut flowers, mainly roses, and it gives you that effect with the citruses and the benzoin, and it just feels like a great fresh early morning garden walk, kind of, sort of, to my nose. But it's very modern and inviting, even though it was made almost 10 years ago, back in 2012. Guess what? How long it lasts? 10 to 12 hours this thing is a beast mode and yes men or women can pull this off because it's got that nice citral citrus in the middle of it prices are holding right about a hundred dollars for this bottle so it's quite affordable introduction to niche and you can safely blind buy it and safely wear it the next one on the list is called rare carbon and what did i do i went to this other website and i type in the notes for this fragrance and the notes for this fragrance backtrack and they tell you other fragrances that have similar notes and guess which one this one has 
80% similar notes to. Guess what? It's called Tom Ford Ombre Leather. When you do spray it, it does smell like it. Very similar to it. And another viewer just loves this so much. Why? Because he sprayed it on his clothes at 9 a.m. on a Monday. And at 9 a.m. on a Tuesday, it was still on there. 24 hours long lasting. Rare Carbon is made by the Afnon Fragrance Company. Next up, we have Musky Rose. What a beautiful bottle this is. Another soft fragrance that gives you a, a musky rose smell. Musky Rose is just an elegant fragrance that has roses, musk, and jasmine, and it's all blended perfectly together. And it's a nice, soft smell, and it's totally inviting and easy to wear. Anyone can wear it. For those of you who ever wanted to enter the world of oud, what is oud? Oud is like an extract from Asian trees that are sick. It's like a resin. It can be very spicy. It can be very scary. It can be very offensive. But this one is called Perfect Oud. And this is a perfect blend, a perfect beginner fragrance to oud. And it's very well priced, just as this one. These are both found right around under $40. I'm going to say $33 to $35. All the links are down below. And perfect dude lasts a long time. And again, I went on Fragrantica and typed in the notes for this. And it came up and it says Layton, which is like a $400 fragrance. Parfums de Marley Layton has similar notes to this. But it's completely not like it. But it does have notes, structures to it. So you give you that smell. So it's very easy to wear. It's called Perfect Dude and it lasts a very nice long time. Five to seven hours. The next one on the list is one of is is the favorite one of mine on the list it's called musky oud musky oud gets the job done musky oud gets you compliments musky oud is straight up fire you know what that means that means it smells awesome musky oud has leather saffron and tobacco with a hint of berry in the note and here's how to really capture this essence of this have you ever smelled something called a spice bomb well this smells like spice bomb with added berries in the back that's why it smells so good and gets you a ton of compliments. Number seven is Rihanna Oud Al D1. The bottle keeps selling out like crazy. I'm getting emails. Another very comfortable introduction into the Oud world. It's got Egyptian leather, soft leather with Mir, M-Y-R-R-H. I don't know how to pronounce that correctly. And geranium. So you're thinking about florals. But it does have some incense in it, so it gives it a little punch in there. This Rihanna Oud Al Diwan does it fa fabulous for your senses if you ever wanted to try it. Next one on the list is my second favorite, along with that musky oud I was talking about. I know all these words can be confusing. This is called Harmain Amber Oud Gold Edition. This is another fragrance that I've got emails for that they tell me it's lasted 24 hours. And it gets you lots of compliments. It projects like crazy. And it's got pineapple and grapefruit. So it's more of a mass appealing fragrance. I don't even know if there's oud in it. They call it amber oud, but there's more citrus in it. Coming up is number nine, which is called Afnan Mizrael with Love. And after number 10, I've got three bonuses to show you of affordable, cheap niche fragrances that smell like expensive, big name brand fragrances. Number nine, Mizrael with Love looks just like this. A beautiful light floral with some roses and resins and it's so easy to wear. And please, after application, wait 20 minutes before you judge this one. It turns into a beautiful, magnificent. It's almost as if you opened up a bottle of wine and let it all breathe for four hours. That's how it, it just opens up. So fragrant and beautiful. It even has like a creamy, slight vanillic dry down to it it's an amazing fragrance and it lasts a nice and long time and if you're more daring number 10 it's called Mizrael of trust which is more of a tobacco and citruses and and patchouli and it kind of smells like hookah tobacco when it dries down it's more daring it's like a blue aquatic with the oud wood and the tobaccos in it and for your bonus section it starts with this one from south africa i believe it's by Senza Fragrances, Patron de Nuit. It's a beautiful niche quality clone of Creed Aventus, and it lasts a nice long time. And it's so soft, there's no bite. You get the Creed Aventus hit you're looking for right off the bat, it's called Patron de Nuit. Number two is called 9 AM. It's by Afnon Fragrances. Again, they make great fragrances. 9 AM smells like Aqua Via Forte Francis Kirk Dijons, which is a 
floral fruity type, exquisitely expensive fragrance. And the third one you have is called Forever Absolute Saffron and Rose and Berries. And it's mimicking a fragrance called Baccarat Rouge 540. If you haven't seen level one and you're a beginner fragrance, watch it right here. And after that, level two is right here for designer fragrances. One or two.